A snapshot? On a Monday? That's right, we're not quite done with the trial chambers yet and wanted to spruce up the entrance. We thought a boring gray wall wasn't all that grand, so we decided to add a fancy new 3x3 door. Excuse me, what? And yes, it's true. Mojang just made, this is the wrong tunnel, the entranceway to the trial chambers has now been spruced up. This is what it looks like right now. Although on the snapshot article, it looks like it's a little bit bigger. So maybe we got a little unlucky with generation. But right now it looks like it kind of features like this tall four block tough structure over here and then a staircase with some copper. And what I'm most excited about, a three by three piston door in a Minecraft generated structure. So as you can see, it opens like that. And there's also just a button on the other side and it closes. And also the interesting thing about this door is that just straight up traps you, which I don't know if that's intentional or not, but yeah, I guess that means you have like no way out and you have to kind of like venture in the trial chamber. But yeah, this is the entrance. It's the same as the entrance from before. This is like the tree room over here. And then if you go down here, you kind of get like the big long area. I'm sure this has a name somewhere in the files and it has like the pixel art on both sides. But yeah, these two rooms are always the entrance to a trial chamber. But before it was quite literally just a three by three wall that you had to punch your way through. But now they've actually made it a working three by three door. So let's open that once again. There you go. Look at that. And oh, look, the copper bulbs, they also change. Wait, that's actually so cool. Oh, look at that. The copper bulbs change. Wait, that's sick. Look at that. And then it opens and then it closes and everything changes. And that's like not bad for a 3x3. Three three. That's a pretty fast 3x3, three three, honestly. Okay, so I want to see if we can get a little more lucky with where our trial chamber generation is. So let's go just like 50,000, 50,000. I did this wrong. There we go. Okay. And we're somewhere. Okay, so I don't know where it is right now. So we're just going to use the locate command to find this thing. And oh, we've just spawned right above it. So if we find the tree room, which is the entrance, here we go. That's the entrance. There's the three by three again. And oh, wow. Look at that. It's like wide as well. Wait, that's crazy. This looks sick. Oh my God. It's like long and it's a lot bigger than I thought. So it goes to like here. And then on this side, I guess it goes. Okay. So this is quite literally how long this entrance can be exposed. And it just looks really cool. Like imagine you're mining and you just see this wall and then you just go in the trial chamber just like that. So as far as I know, the loot in this room is still the same. So yeah, just honeycombs, an axe. I'm pretty sure you can also get a trial key in here. And I think there's like a downstairs room over here with a... Yep, there we go. Like a little bed. And yeah, this loot is the same. I'm pretty sure you can also get an ominous bottle in this chest as well. But yeah, the loot in these chests have remained the same. The only difference is the entrance area over here. So again, the first two, we kind of got lucky because they kind of like spawned in a wall. So I wonder if we can find some random chamber. Oh, is that another chamber? Oh my God, that's another chamber. I wonder if we can get one where it's kind of like exposed. There's the tree room. Th yep, yep, that's exactly what I was looking for. Because, you know, underground structures, you'd probably expect a lot of them to spawn like this. Yep, there's the back wall with all the exposed copper blocks. But yeah, this is the entire front wall, and that's what it looks like, which is pretty cool. And again, it's a, just a 3x3 three three door. You can open it, you go through it, and it just closes behind you, and you're locked. You can't do anything anymore. So I've gone up, and I've actually pasted one of these rooms from the trial chambers, and this is the whole thing, at least, where it like kind of cuts off in this back wall that we saw earlier. And yeah, there's also like four layers of tough here. There's just like this cool pattern in the front as well. I assume this is kind of one solid wall to hide the door, which we'll get onto later. But it also kind of mirrors the same inside pillar pattern where it goes like three blocks and two blocks and three blocks and yeah, two blocks. And we have like a big solid wall here to cover the redstone, I assume. And yeah, it's the same three, two, three, two pattern. And we have this really cool ring of copper bulbs as well that kind of interact with the door, or at least these four interact with the door, the three on the top just kind of stay on. 
but that's really cool. It also kind of showcases the properties of the copper ball. So I've also extracted the door from this structure as well. And yeah, the structure also uses orange wool, which is pretty cool, I guess, since the whole structure is like copper and orange colored. So this is the whole redstone for the door, at least. So we have two buttons on either side. And interesting, the way it controls it is like a redstone block. So that way, if you push the button on one side, then it doesn't work anymore because, you know, you're pushing a redstone block and it doesn't do anything. And then I guess if we go on the other side, there we go. Look at that. That looks pretty cool, honestly. So I've removed even more of the redstone so we can just see the door itself. And this thing is tiny, bro. Mojang did an incredible job. They got a one wide three by three. And I assume this has to work on Bedrock, right? Because it has to work on both Java and Bedrock. I mean, I'm seeing something that looks like block spitting, but I don't think there's block spitting. I think it's genuinely this piston is extended, so I can't retract it. Actually, let me let me build this in Bedrock, and I'll tell you guys if it actually works in Bedrock. So as of right now, it is still in Snapshot, so we don't actually have the structure in Bedrock yet. But yeah, I've rebuilt the door in Bedrock, and let's just see if it actually works. Okay, it closes. That's pretty cool. Does it open? It does open, so it doesn't do any block spitting on the bottom. Wait, that is crazy. So Mojag made a one wide 3x3 three three door that works on Java and Bedrock. This double piston extender is really cool. Wait, hold on. Let me look at that. So it seems like this piston plus redstone block plus redstone lamp, it kind of activates all the double piston extender inputs at the same time and there's just different amounts of delays and it just makes it a double piston extender look at that but i assume it can probably be broken i mean i don't expect them to have like spam proofing on this yeah if you time it well you could probably push the blocks across get them in front of here and start messing with the door wiring this closing's pretty interesting so we have like a pulse on this bottom piston and then this kind of goes up, updates this observer, which pushes that. And then like four ticks later, the top piston goes off. Look at that. And then, yeah, so that pulses, I guess, for the opening. I'm probably not going to do a tutorial on this door since you could probably just download the snapshot for yourself and copy it. But I guess I'll just like slowly fly under it. So there we go. There's what the bottom layer looks like. And then we go another layer up. And then, like, another layer. There we go. There's some observers facing this way. Pretty sure the direction matters a lot for redstone like this. And yeah, just a wire going along the top. Repeater. Some pistons with some redstone blocks. And yeah. Now, is this thing spam-proof? I did say at the beginning it might not be, but let's see if it is. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought would happen. That the piston would push everything across when this is retracted. Yeah, this... Has now broken the door. Yep, completely. But I think with these buttons, it might be, like, pretty hard to break. Since, you know, you have to kind of, like, go around the block to try and break it. But, oh, there we go. See? It still works. And, yeah. So, I guess while it's in the structure, it's pretty spam-proof. Because the blocks kind of get in the way of the buttons. Snapshot may be really small, but... Dude, that's crazy. A 3x3 three three piston door. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on Mojang's first 3x3 three three piston door? Why don't you comment them below? Anyways, subscribe to me. Bye.